if you look and you see uh, Arizona, we have yeah. a lot of life in that. And somebody said, somebody declared that it was a victory for, and maybe it will be. I mean, that's possible. But certainly there were a lot of votes out there that we could get because we're now just coming into what they call Trump territory. I don't know what you call it, but these were friendly Trump voters. And that could be overturned. President's right. It was called entirely too early. From my understanding, there are potentially hundreds of thousands of votes up for grabs. We're privileged to have once again with us Congresswoman Debbie Lesko from the 8th Congressional District outside of uh, Phoenix, Maricopa County. Congresswoman, welcome back. What's going on in Arizona? Can we do this there or what? Oh, yeah, I think Trump can win. I actually talked to the president this morning, and I talked to people here on the ground that are very involved and the word I got this morning was that if 500,000 ballots were left to count, that Trump could win. And if 600,000 were out, then he has a really good chance of winning. And guess what? Today, one of the major media press, you know, the newspaper here in Arizona said there is at least 600,000 ballots left to count here in Arizona. So I'm very optimistic about Trump winning in Arizona. You know, I kept going to the Arizona Republic and it just had Arizona and a big blue check and, you know, everything's fine here, everything's fine. And then, yeah, I saw that. Okay, 600,000. You have any idea why it was called as early as it was? It seemed uh, like a real stretch at the time. Everybody was scratching their heads, but it did go down. I am... I have absolutely no idea why Fox News did that. I mean, I, I, was a, I was absolutely appalled because I'm here on the ground. I've been door knocking. I see what's happening. And there's no way that I believe that Arizona went for Biden. I just didn't believe it. And then the, we know in Arizona that so many people drop off their mail-in ballots at the polls on election day, and those ballots aren't counted for days. You know, so we're probably not going to know for sure till probably Friday is what I have been told, Friday here in Arizona. But it is looking really good because the trends from the ballots that came in in the middle of the night really went towards Trump and Republicans. Okay. Uh, hundreds of thousands, though, are, are, are still out there. And these are what happened? They were just in, 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 in these drop boxes you were talking about? I mean, that's a lot of votes. Um, wow, that's a lot to be laying around, quite frankly. Yeah, I was told that there were ballots delivered at 3 a.m. to one of the major voting tallying places, and there was no way to know how many ballots were in them. So when the Arizona Secretary of State announced, oh, she thought there was 350, 400,000, there was no way for anyone to know. And then later, the Arizona Republic actually updated it at about 1 p.m. today to at least 600,000 ballots are outstanding. Here in Arizona, we've been doing mail-in ballots for years, 10 years now. And what happens is people request the mail-in ballot, they put it in the envelope, but many, many people wait until Election Day, take it to the polls, drop it in a box, and none of those are counted until after Election Day. I mean, they're still counting early ballots from late last week. They haven't even gotten into these, these ballots that were dropped off at the polls yesterday. So that's why Governor Ducey said it is way too early to, to count Arizona one way or the other because there's way too many ballots outstanding. Okay, and this is important because if... President Trump wins Arizona, he doesn't, and he holds on to Pennsylvania and North Carolina and Georgia. He won't need Wisconsin and Michigan, which are suddenly very, very complicated. I think that's the electoral map, and then he can win the presidency. But Congresswoman Debbie Lesko, thank you again. Let's keep in touch. Your, this process, from your standpoint, is safe and sound, right? No funny business. Well, there were some reports of funny business, so I had people email me. I'm having people email me that are contacting me, and I'm forwarding it to the lawyers because, you know, I don't know if it's legit or not, but I want to make sure somebody checks it out. But in the meantime, I really think 
that President Trump has a real good shot of winning Arizona. And I'm just not, I'm not a delusional person. I'm not just saying this for the sake of saying it. This is real. I have talked to credible people. This is very real here in Arizona. I believe you. I live there, by the way. Yuma, one of the nicest uh, times of my life. I had a real good time there uh, four years. Uh, thank you, Congresswoman. Let's go to be continued, okay? Thank you. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.